This episode of Shop Talk is sponsored by the Tent Man Guild. Voted Sumter's best window tenant shop for the past five years. They treat every vehicle like it's their own. The Tent Man also offers commercial and residential tenting. The Tent Man is located at 470 South Ginyard Drive, Suite 5. You can reach the Tent Man by phone at 803-847-9015. God's Glory Transportation. God's Glory Transportation is built from the ground up from the good Lord above. You can get with my brother Dennis McFadden, the owner and operator of God's Glory Transportation for all of your auto transport needs or how to get started. You can visit his website at www.godsglorytransportation.com. Realtor Kenneth Johnson, a committed, passionate, and result-driven realtor who prides itself on meeting and exceeding clients' expectations. You can contact Kenneth at 803-410-0976. We're going to move on to the next topic. <laughs> R.I.P. Uncle Kev. It was a real one. Hi. I'm, <clears throat> I don't know what your topic is tonight, but I just... How old I guess. are you? Hmm? How old are you? Guess. Don't play with me. Hey, so we're going to talk about <laughs> my boy Kevin Samuels. Just the comments that I've seen by women. Man, a hit dog would holler. It was tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> it was tasteless. But, you know, he was speaking his truth. You know, so you're going to respect that man for, for his truth. So what do you guys think about that? Oh man! Yeah, because I, I didn't know anything until you. It's saying I'm glad he's dead. Um, good Lord for him. have mercy. Yeah, I'm oh, serious. Man, yeah, you know. yeah. I think even um, Vivica Fox said something about he deserved it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Some something to that effect. Yeah. R.I.P. Kev. What what hurt me? I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna let everybody else speak. I don't smoke enough. Um. What 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 bothered me? was a preacher interjected something. Mm. Now, he has a reputation of saying controversial things just for the sake of saying it, Jamal Bryant, um, saying how can a man quantify your value when that man needs uh, um, GoFundMe in order to, you know, be buried. And that's not true, for one. And, and two, he wasn't speaking of the person. He's not speaking to an individual, and so he's off with that. He was speaking about um, the sexual market value. Everybody has a value in regards to what the purchaser wants. Exactly. 
if, if your goal is to be, to find a Boaz or a Boaz find you, ladies, then you got to be marketable for that Boaz. I, you got to be what that Boaz wants. Everybody look at it as what I want. And so you want this kind of person. Great. But what this does, the question that you need to ask yourself and he constantly put on the table was, that person that you want, what does that person want? That's what you really got to consider. And if you don't meet that profile, then you need to make the necessary adjustments in order to be that catch. Otherwise, your value is decreased. The, the thing is, when it, comes, <clears throat> when it comes to men, for some odd reason, we're not allowed to have standards, or at least voice those standards. Whereas you hear a woman <laughs> that the whole world know what her standards <laughs> is, are. are. The man better make this amount of money. He better be, he better look like this. He better be 6'2". Mm -hmm. Light skin, dark skin, whatever. A certain grain of hair. Um, oh, no hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, and, and, and rightfully so, you're entitled to, to whatever you want. But if you can speak on it so easily, shouldn't a man be able to speak on that same exactly. thing? I exactly. think the issue is it's such... It's such a surprise to people because men haven't been speaking. Men have been keep well unless we're amongst ourselves, unless men are amongst themselves, then we'll speak on it. But as far as letting a woman know, much less the masses know, what men expect or what a lot of men or a certain caliber of men expects, get defensive. But you don't blink an eye when a woman says that a man has to have this, that, and other. Now my thing is that um. To say that somebody deserves to die. to die for yeah. their opinion. Yeah, man. That's why I say it was tasteless, man. Because the it's thing tasteless. is, even though Kevin Samuels wasn't the the godfather of it, like he he, he, claimed he would to be, claim. Yeah, yeah. He took it to another another level with so many different eyes were able to see it. And no, I don't agree with everything the man says. No one should agree with everything anyone says. Um, but he didn't speak in absolute. Um, I can pick out the different things that he said. If I can use it, I can use it. If I can't, I can't. But a lot of people decided to go back and watch him, even though they knew they hated it, over and over and over and over again. Nobody's making, nobody made you watch this man, but you chose to go back and watch it. If something pisses you off that much, guess what? You don't have to type his name into the search engine. You don't have to watch it. You see that one time, this ain't for me. That's right. That's mm -hmm. another. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Well, they, they do that because of the shock factor. The, the, that's basically what it, that's what they came for. Because he said something that shocked people and, and, and then it went around the circles. And so now everybody just wants to see what is he's going to say. What is he actually said, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they're doing it. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. I, you know, if you don't agree with it, don't type his name in the search bar. You won't, you won't have to hear it. So from a female's perspective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read you. I know where you're going. So, I don't know if I should even get into this. Okay. No, you need to. This so, I'm going to just go back to what you said um, about women do and expect to be able to voice their opinion. And not until you said it just now did I even ever thought about it, but it's absolutely true because it don't sound right for a man to say, I like A, B, C, and D. Y'all just, just assume we like anything. I'm, no, not no y'all. <laughs> <laughs> not no y'all. <laughs> not no y'all. But not that. I think it's selfish. But not, again, not until T said it, you should be able to say what you want, and but every woman, as, as every man, think that they have all of the qualifications, but how do you know if you got all of the qualifications, yet they tell you? But back to the lady that said, she's glad he's dead. Even though we don't think that's right, here we go again. Now we decided who has, who's able to express their opinion and not. That's our opinion, whether we like it or not. Mm. But by that logic, we still have we still are able to have our opinion our opinions about about that. I opinion. agree with because you. Because if if you have the 
the heart to say that, then what he said shouldn't have bothered shouldn't you have at bothered all. Shouldn't have bothered you at all. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot darker than anything he said. That's why but I said hit dog with holler. Even man yeah. or woman, if you think, again, go back to the qualifications. If you think you all that, it, it's probably hurtful for somebody to tell you that you're really not. That's why I said <laughs> hit dog with holler. <laughs> and that goes both ways, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes both ways. Yeah. But the thing is, we used to hearing it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we used to hearing it. And, and it's not fair. Yeah. That's it. Because <laughs> men, men know, men know, y'all been telling us forever what the like expectations that, for men is, That's you know, right. we understand um, from, a, from a young man, you know, I'm, my son is 13, I'm already training him, mm -hmm. you know, what he got to do, how That's he has bad. to go forward, That's what, exactly right. you know what I'm saying, whereas females, they believe all they got to do is look pretty and maybe be able to cook, maybe know how to clean, maybe be, you know, um, you don't understand talk, the physical easy to get along. Okay, so let but me physical is limited. Physical. Yeah. So let me ask you this. As you're training your son, right? Are you training him on both sides though? Because he has a voice as well. So are you allowing him to know that he has he should be able to know what he wants? All right, hold on. Before we get you there, we might as well jump onto the next topic. And that's the next topic on that one. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> and to say in today's society, what defines manhood and womanhood? I don't think I should go first. But <laughs> well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Think about it. What? Well, because you were saying what you were nah, telling your you, you were saying what you were telling your son just now, right? Yeah. Okay then. I was telling him what manhood is. Man, manhood, from in my perspective, is it covers three areas. It covers the priest, which is the spiritual aspect of it, that you are in tune with the word of God, that you align yourself to the best of your ability through the power of God with what the word says a man is supposed to look like, talk like, be. Um, so you're the priest of that house. You're the provider for that house, meaning that the buck stops with you. It should be, as, as the man, if you going out here to choose a woman there shouldn't be any reason why you expecting her to be able to pay any bill. Now with today, the, today's society, are there times in which you're in the development and you need somebody to partner with? And that's why we got this, you know, I'm looking for my partner and, you know, we have equal footing in this household and all that. Well, if, if you do look for somebody to, to, to pay some bills, then you got to understand that. But at the end of the day, it comes as even if you are working together, the buck still stops with you. The lights are going to be on. It better be because you were doing what you got. Even if you don't have a job, you better go cut some grass. You better do whatever. You better get some bottles. You better recycle. You, you better do something I'm about to, to be able to provide. OK, let me, let, me, let me finish. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm wrap it up so you can go in. <laughs> The priest, provider, and protector. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if something was to go down, you know your responsibility is to protect you and everyone in that household. So you got to do whatever it takes in order to do that. You ready, Melissa? So that's all. Ready, three. fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So did he not just say, I think, well, you, you are creating the, she must be pretty, she must do this, she must do that. Because she, she ain't doing nothing. Because she ain't doing nothing. No, no, no. Damn no. thing. No, she's doing, she's, doing, she's doing quite a bit. What is she doing? She's doing quite a bit because, because just because I'm making all the money don't mean you don't have a part to play. Don't mean that you don't, if, even if I have enough money that you can stay home, which is at your, your leisure. Some, some people are, are highly educated and they want to go out and have a career. You have the right to have the career, but you should make enough money to provide the option. That in the worst case scenario, if something was to happen, you can still take care of everything because you are the head of that house. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Everything you're saying, I like. But that's why, okay, so I have a daughter and I have sons. So the same conversation you have with your son is the same conversation I have with my son, but I also have that same conversation with my daughter, right? So 
you know I'm not the person to speak on this. We already established that two, two shows ago. I, I disagree. I agree with you with the head and who's next. I agree with all of that. But in today's society, we as women, we got to bring our own. We, we got to bring it. We, if we want the best, it's going to take both, both people to have the best. And if my son is making all the money, um, doing all that he can do, he has the right to pick what type of woman he wants to share that with. True. Yeah. You, you kind of get what I'm saying? Absolutely. But in the same sense, my daughter, oh, I want that for her, right? You want that for your daughter. But she needs to understand that she got to bring it as well because that ain't promised. That's true, and I absolutely agree with that. I ain't my about thing, you not promise. I'm talking about <laughs> my, you know. the man ain't promised to stay there and the, all of that. The and finances, the yeah. the everything is not promising, and not meaning that he's gonna leave. Something may happen. We all know where that he can't do, do happen. Yes. where he can't provide like he should. So if they're they're in a relationship or they're married, they got married because they love each other. They're financially stable. So when he can't provide anymore, what's she supposed to do? Leave him. No, definitely not. But what I'm saying is to the fact that he has to step in knowing that this is my responsibility. Have the responsibility, have the weight of that, because that is your place. And that's biblical. That's biblical. Right. I understand. Right? I said I liked it. And so, but at the same time, allow the woman to have that option. But if, if the case was to be, understand this, just because you're going out there, you got your degree, you got yourself, you got your own bag, you may have your own house. I don't need a man for nothing. Beautiful, baby. But don't believe that that's the reason why a man is attracted to that's you. Right. That's right. I don't want you for your house. I don't you're, want you for right. your car. Right. I don't want you for your money. I want for what you, I, I can buy the house. Can you make this a home? I can, I, can, I can set up where we live and, and protect you by living in a good environment, but are you able to instill in our children the values? Are you able to, to, to be able to communicate in a That's way a and, 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 and <laughs> step back, even though you're intellectually maybe even um, more quick-witted than I? But do you have to say your point and prove your point and have the last word every single time because you were educated woman and nobody yes. can tell you anything? <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 but I'm, I'm saying, can, 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 can you be able to have some kind of, I, I know what he's saying has some validity, but I don't agree with all of it, but I'm going to fall back and I'm going to play my part to the time is right to communicate it. And, and the whole point of communication is making sure the person understands what you were saying. Just because I'm talking don't mean that you get what I'm saying. And females in this day have been like put a battery in a back by all the music, the TV, all the nonsense just to go off and I'm going to say my sign and I'm going to do, and you can't do nothing for me and blah, 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 blah. That attitude is so unattractive. And it is, and what you're saying is most, most, I see it, that, that is absolutely correct. So, with that be saying, the gentlemen who have daughters, we have, to start, we have to start teaching them this at home. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't teach my daughter to be combative, because that's what that is. That's exactly that's what, what it is. That's what it is. I don't teach her to be combative, but I do try to instill in her to... You want a voice, you got to bring something to the table to have a voice. You got to pay so to say so. Make sense? But all I needed was you to break that down to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. I understand more now. But that pay so to say so. No, what I'm saying is you can't I, no, I get There you... is no humble women like that anymore. I'm sorry. And if it is, I feel sorry for them. I'm, not saying, that, I don't, I'm not saying that me and you got to be combative about everything. But just because you're the man does not mean I have to follow every lead that you you instinct, you hear, this is what you say. Here I go, here I go, here I go. I got a voice as well. And definitely. And a man that really loves you wants to hear you. So I yeah, like, want to say something. Yeah. I heard him. Yeah. I was trying no, to no, hear him. Uh, <laughs> the, what he is dictating, truly, is the Bible. And the reason 
we have fallen to the wayside and why everything has crashed and why women behave in the manner is not because they're stuck up. It's because you failed. I failed. He failed. We all failed as men to do our job. And I, what I was going to say for was... For generations. When you, have, when you have somebody who's combative or just... It's just it's just always an issue. You have to look back on why there's always an issue or why they're being combative. I don't it's think to the story. it's more to the story. Yeah. Can, can I? And I, I agree with that. Yo. Like what you mean? But the, the problem is, you're living in a time that isn't anymore. And I'll be honest with you, I'm living in that same time. At the end of the day, I believe I answer to God for my myself and my family. Yeah. Period. And that determines whether I go to heaven or I go to hell. You do the same thing. But in the Bible, it says to love your wife. And I said this the last show. How many men actually know the definition of love and treat their wives with 100% respect for everything? Love is defined by multiple hundreds of words. We have put women in this position so they have to go out and they have to do what they have to do to survive because we failed. We didn't take care of them. We didn't love them. We ran around on them, we left them, we impregnated them, we've done all sorts of bad things, and we wonder why they're defensive. They're defensive because we failed to do our job for decades. And those of us that do try, you, myself, you always post pictures up of you and your wife, and from the outside, it looks like you, you love your wife. Look, you're not going to be able to just sit here and point out who you think love is. Right? <laughs> hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. 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 I just, <laughs> oh, oh, what about these what about these women that haven't been ran around on, that haven't been ever had a baby, right. so they haven't been impregnated? What's their excuse? We we because because we're not about those excuses. Their excuses. They're their past. Their Maybe their father behavior. or their grandfather or whoever in their past. See what you did is you give them a crutch. Is, is that learned behavior? And, and, learned and, behavior. I mean, it is. Is right. that learned behavior? Because just like you say, we talking about Kevin Sammy, these females is talking about, we see it on, uh, on, 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 on these little prank shows they do all the time. The guy be at the store. So with the car? Yeah. Yeah, he'll yeah, be in line yeah. With some dirty jeans on, look like he been painting all day long. Yeah. And he'd be like, hey, how you doing? You know, can I buy that for you? Catch She'd be like, gold, no, I got a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a man. Oh, okay, well, you know, you know, this and that, this and that. And then he'll walk outside. They see that car. He he driving a Ferrari. <laughs> Here she come back across the parking lot. Yeah. Hey. Nah. You, oh, well, he, we, yeah, I got a man, but we having some issues. Oh, now y'all having issues yeah. because I'm driving a Ferrari. Because now you're driving a Ferrari. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's 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 ridiculous out there, and I'm telling you, even as a police officer and some, you know, women, man in uniform, they see a man wearing, com um, not not combat boots, but um, work boots, opposed to combat boots. They going for the combat boots, opposed to work boots. Guess who make more money? <laughs> the, the, the work boots. <laughs> work boots. Work boots. Ain't boots. making no money in the military, I can tell you that. <laughs> Hold on, let, 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 I, I got to finish, I gotta, I gotta finish this. But what you're doing right now, that's, that's dangerous. Because you're giving them a crutch. <laughs> you're giving them Lord a crutch. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, what? <laughs> Nobody's got a crutch. This is, this is By that reality. Line, hold on, let me, let, me, let, me, let me use the same logic that, you, that you're using. Since every, all these black men haven't had fathers in their lives, or they grow up watching music videos with selling dope and killing people and running around on, 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 on they, they women, having multiple women. Since that is instilled in them, are you going to give them a pass for what they do? You're going to get a drug dealer a pass for what he does? You're going to get a, a killer path. a pass for what he does? It's cause and effect. It's not a path. It is cause and effect. You, if, 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 if we each have sons in here, my son deals drugs, your son, his son deals drugs, and his son deals drugs, and those three folks that their sons don't deal it, but they start hanging out with us, guilt by association. Man, answer my question directly, because you're not doing that. I ask you a direct question. Are you going to give these black men a pass because they haven't had fathers in their life, and they've been raised by their emotional mamas, and they've been watching TV all day, and they see, they, 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 they see the drug dealing being glorified. They, they see the, the, um, the having... Most for women being glorified, they see the killing being glorified, the thuggery, all that stuff. You gonna give them a pass. 
No. No, okay no. then. then don't give these the women a pass. pass. <laughs> but it's not, it, it's not that it's we're that giving them a day. pass. I'm telling you what the result is of behaviors, past behaviors of years. I mean, men thought, oh, I'm king of the house. I can beat the, beat the dog spot out of my wife. Well, you're going, you to, you're going, you're going to, to, to extremes. So you go into extremes. I'm going to try to answer your question. What, you, what you're saying is absolutely the truth. And when you have a woman who's not been cheated on, who's had a good man, who, who's jam up, like you say, and she does not comply or she does not accept that, I think it's because of learned behavior. When I say learned behavior, I'm talking about we, somebody had to raise us, right? And if, I, if all I knew is what my mom experienced, no matter how good it looks to me, I'm going to fall back to what she and inst- what she had to what she brought to the table does that make sense what i'm saying yeah I get exactly. and that's my opinion um but I, I think that's what it is but unfortunately the is. people that's teaching them that a single woman oftentimes but not all not all not all um it's some some of them are married all with them and bitter and bitter and bitter there, there you go. because I part. stayed and I'm mad I stayed and I'm mad I stayed, I stayed, and I stayed I because I didn't have I didn't have the option I didn't have an education I didn't have my things together so because I, because of my circumstance I'm upset with myself and be, and because of that I don't want you to have to deal with the same consequences that I'm dealing with not realizing hold on if I can teach her these skills of how to be a wife and also empower her to be the best her, that she would be able to have options, that I don't have to deal with this bum on the street, I don't have to go for the glamour and go because, oh, he the drug dealer, so it looked like I'm gonna be protected, it looked like I'm gonna get that money, and so I'm gonna have that clout of the superstar um, in high school, or the drug dealer on the corner, that's what all the girls run after. Not, not and overlooking the geek in the corner that's going to be the next Bill Gates, if you will, right. or the other dude on the side that's a, a C or B student, but he has good morals, good respect, come from a good house, and going to be a truck driver that's going to make a hundred grand a year. No, you ain't thinking about that. You just want the dude that's, you know, Sound flashy, 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 that's, shine, that's yeah. got swag and all of that. And so, we, at the end of the day, both sides have to take accountability. Both sides. You as the woman have to look at, all right, if I deal if I did deal with these kind of guys and I got hurt because of that, I gotta look myself in the mirror, like my pastor said today, and take count accountability. Understand it was some the reason is of my my current consequence and circumstance, it's not because of everybody else. It is because I made some choice. I had a part to say with that. You out here running these streets, and, and now you can't find a good man. I wonder why. Because everybody got your name in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you want a good man. You belong to the streets. You we say want you belong good, to the streets. but we don't want to live good. Yeah. yeah. We want good, but we don't want to put all want, in the work We don't want to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? There we go. There we go. So you, we got to take accountability. You have to be the type of person that you say... Um, excuse me. You got to be the type of person that the person that you want would want. That's just it. And if you're not that, make the necessary adjustments. And I'm glad you said that. I can remember my daughter's 25 now, and my sons too. I always tell them, be, be the kind of person that somebody would be happy to, uh, and to take you home. Right. To their family. You know, be the right. kind of kid, the gentleman that your girlfriend would love to take you home to her parents. Your and family got to be right too, because you, you know how old people be. You who are going people? down the whole line. Yeah. Who are people? <laughs> who are people? <laughs> who are people? <laughs> who are people? <laughs> well, Apple don't fall too far off in the tree. I mean, it's yeah. often the case, you know. Because and, 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 that's true. Every woman I've dated, I take them home, and two people had to prove. No matter what, I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, they're with me, and I approve of them. But Aunt Sophie, if Sophie ain't approved, if Sophie, Sophie looked at one of one of the young ladies I bought home, she said, 
Who you bring her in my house for? <laughs> Straight you know, like that. No cut. Say this before yeah. I forget. Yeah. With us talking about, because we don't went to another topic about how we want our kids to portray themselves yeah. and be. But you know, I take pride in being the kind of parent that he would want to, to br bring right. somebody home yes, to right. me. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand exactly. what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm real and uncut, you gonna, what you, you see is be what honest, you get. But you I want yeah. them. I want him to be proud. To or her to be proud to bring somebody home because they bring someone home to you, you know, you're gonna be honest with your opinion with them, right? They know that, yeah. So, back to like you said, the, the topic what defines a real woman? I don't, I can't in our own it. mind or in society, yeah, right. Mm. I, well, I mean, it should be mm. society is definitely not the answer. Because you're gonna get all you're gonna get all Careful kinds with the of pronouns things. now, right? You're gonna get. I don't think society has betrayed. Society has put so much, instilled so much in all people that we've gotten away from the real things. But to answer your question, I don't think I can answer your question. I could tell you, uh, being a being a womanhood, being a woman in womanhood, I could tell you what I have to offer or what what I want to betray. You, you kind of get what I'm saying? I want to be a partner. I want to be truthful. I want to be honest. I want to be clean. I want the best things in life. And I want to do that with a partner. But in order for me to want that, the partner has to want the same thing. Define a partnership. Is this 50-50? No, I don't think so. I don't think no relationship is 50-50. Because I can't, as a man, I can't do everything that you can do. And as a woman, you're not going to be able to do everything that I do. So it's never going to be 50-50. It's never gonna be 50 50. Y'all hear that woman? Y'all hear that, ladies? <laughs> you know, mm. Anthony Hamlet's got this song that says, Life has a way of humbling you down. And, and that's just it right now, because the way society is now, anybody under the age of 35, it's all that glitter and gold and glamour and this and that. But when they get 40, 42, 45, they start to realize, you know what? I've got to take accountability for what I've done. And the, 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 the hurt that I've created and the consequence, I gotta take, uh, I gotta take responsibility for those consequences now that what I gotta live with. So if my name in the street as a female, I gotta live with those consequences now. So whatever comes with that, I gotta work with that to make that better. Now I've humbled myself that this is all I got left as far as a selection of men to choose the best one. Bro, and that's what Kevin Samuels say the same and, old time. Yeah, and, and, work, and work with him. Because, yeah, just like Kevin Samuels always say, he said, for me, for an example, you done had three kids <laughs> by this clown dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you want this dude. Yeah. She, she want to sip now. Yeah, yeah. now, now yeah. she want to sip. <laughs> and she want, she want somebody to take care and all this. I'm not taking, I mean, if I love you, yeah. And I'm coming to you like a man, I'm going to step up and be a family. But it, it is irritating to be in a household with some disrespectful kids mm. that, you know, and you walking around. Eh, 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 yeah, eh, eh. come on. You got disrespectful kids. You got baby <laughs> daddies that's always trying to be in the middle of stuff. And here I am working my tail off exactly. to take care of you But that should have been something kids. that you peeped out in the beginning. Early. Right, right, that's right. That's something you peep but, out. But you got these women, mm -hmm. but you got these women that think that they deserve me to mm. come Think and take care of the household, yeah. to buy her this new car, to make sure the house take care of, make sure all the, you, you got this, and this is what you're expecting, and that's all Kevin, Kevin Samuel was saying. Women are hyper you right. know, they, they want the best option. Yeah. I don't care, I don't care, I'm not, I may not be the best option, you know, this is what women typically say. I'm, I'm not the best option, but I want the best option. I mean, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So I guess true. what he's saying is, what do you bring it to the table? What you what bring it to the table? Yeah. But you know, I, again, this man right here, he be bringing it out. I'm yeah. telling you, like every show, I'll be like, dog, I ain't never thought about that. It's, it's true. But that. it's true. And I'm looking back over life, just life itself. I've never really heard a man say, this is what I need for you to bring to the table in order for us to be. And I'm not going right. to say I ever asked either. I'm not going <laughs> to and I'm going yeah. to tell you why. Because I used to do it. I used to catch hell. i catch hell. If I say, hey, I like this certain type of woman, this figure. I, I used to say it. I'll say it right now. I like light, bright, the white. I would say that. I would catch hell. <laughs> no, you would. I would catch hell. <laughs> you know why you would, though? 
You know why you would? Why? I'm not saying it's right. I bet well, it, I bet you say, say that in her head. She like this. No, I told her that before. She already <laughs> so, know. Me, so what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is, let's just say I was interested in you, and right. those were your criterias. Understood. It. I'm. I'm talking about me. I ain't talking. Right. This the person I am now. I'm just trying to help the women out because I'm out yeah, That's what we need. We need that. If I'm interested <laughs> in you, and everything that you've said does not fit who I am. Now I'm upset. Got to move on. You're in the friend zone now. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. They don't don't like that. that. But they don't like that. I'm just saying, I ain't saying it's right. I agree with y'all. Y'all are totally right. I wish, I wish, I ain't saying I always was like that. I don't even remember even having to be, you know, no, you ain't got this, this, or this. But I know we can't, women cannot just brush aside of what a man needs and wants as well. And their needs and wants should be just as important as our needs and wants. And I ain't trying to butt up to y'all. So what I'm taking from that, y'all can't take rejection. Exactly. That's what I got from it. Most women, I don't think, I don't <laughs> no, think they can. They ain't used to it. They're not used, they're not if used you, to it. If you right. want a woman, young fellas, <laughs> you're right. you give it, young fellas, if you want a woman, play her like she ain't nothing. Talk to the ugly friend. Treat her like you <laughs> respect. That the truth. Oh, no, Get, Jesus, make game. them feel yeah. like they're the best thing living, and the and the pretty one that you really want is going to be coming after you, not you running right. after her. That ain't right. Though. Hey, that's a fact. Well, we just tell that's them a that, fact. We just tell them everything they want to hear, and it'll be okay. <laughs> and we'll keep getting the same thing. <laughs> oh, Blunt but the truth. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the last topic. <laughs>